I know we've seen selected findings from the report. Do you plan to release it in full? Um, I think yesterday we released all key findings, so that's it. I think now everything is on the table. The market can has now full transparency. Um, we have already addressed um, uh, and improved uh, oversight and regulation in the uh, in the region, uh, and we think we can now go back to business and uh, refocus on the. Uh, strong performance of Wirecard, the innovation power. So for us, I think yesterday is uh, a very positive turning point, uh, and we are fully back to business. Okay, you're back to business, and that's good to hear, Marcus. Uh, there might be some investors, though, who want a little more clarity on what's been going on. This is quite a limited report in the sense that it only covers specific transactions. Uh, the, the company was involved, yourselves were involved, in deciding which documents were provided. Some investors might want to see something more. Any plans for anything fuller? Again, I think that uh, uh, this is uh, exactly the result, all key findings on the table, uh, and uh, they were, uh, let's say, not uh, in any way um, optimized, but this is directly what was the finding by the external investigation. So I think all key points are on the table, and the market has now full insight. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think we, uh, we can now refocus again uh, on the strength of Wirecard and the strong operative performance of Wirecard. We think we have a perfect and very good year before us, uh, and that's uh, my message to the market. Yes, there have been some findings, uh, and uh, we are uh, addressing them, and uh, I think we already have implemented very strong additional uh, oversight measurements uh, 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 starting last year, uh, and we are very committed to constantly improve and implement best-in-class compliance and oversight instruments, and this we do. On the other side, I think we can strongly mm. reject now and re rebut now some of the severe allegations that were brought forward in the public. Uh, I think uh, there was a disproportionate uh, element there. Uh, I think everybody sees now it was immaterial. Yes, there are findings. Uh, but on the other side, I think uh, what should be again now in the focus is really the strength of this company. And again, uh, we, to we totally confirm uh, our guidance of 2019. There is no material impact on, on the numbers. Yes. And that's my message. So, Marcus, you've confirmed. So, Marcus, you've confirmed your guidance and the findings, as you say, not material. But there was evidence of contracts being created for audit purposes, and some wrongdoing was found. Yet, a month ago, you said that there was no wrongdoing. Um, so, how do you how do you explain that? Why did the company say there was no wrongdoing before the results of this report were released? Um, we strongly rejected. Uh, the severe allegations that were brought forward, uh, and we always committed ourselves to bring full insight into the detailed findings. This we did here, uh, and we gave also clear transparency what are potential uh, balance sheet implications and what were the size in balance sheet terms uh, of the findings. And I think it's clear here that our point that uh, there was no material uh, uh, wrongdoing. Okay, uh, materiality is key.